bought music once from an old man with a, one of those folding tables. He had uh, discs and tapes and memory sticks and big platters of vinyl. We talked about jazz. We spoke for what seemed like hours and I never learned his name, but he knew a lot of names I've never known. Uh, he talked about Tina Brooks and Marilyn Mazur and Rand Blake, like he had just left them in his living room. And Michelle Petrucciani. He was only three feet tall. He had a disease that, that brittled his bones. Just 36 when he died. Other musicians carried him on stage to the piano. They considered it an honor. He was married twice. It was the sounds. The sound a fork makes. The feeling of running water from a tap. Oil shimmering on a hot pan. The smell of black pepper. A little girl's shoes uh, lying in the middle of the road on, on Constant Street in front of St. Clair Monastery. Smaller than my hand, scuffed blue leather and, and doll buckles still clasped. They're sitting primly next to each other on cobblestone like schoolgirls waiting for class. I pick them up. I, I don't know why. How many times do you walk by something and, and not pick it up? You keep walking. Why this? Why these? And I don't know where they are now. This story has no end. Without an end? What does the story mean? I mean, it sits there, neglected, but not ignored, uh, reminded every now and then, like a song that sticks in your head and won't go away until it suddenly does, and, and you can't remember what the song ever was. Here's my heart. It's the size of my hand. Listen. And if you drop the mic, it will break.